George Ludwig was a graduate student under Professor James Van Allen at the University of Iowa's Department of Physics and Astronomy back in the late 1950s. And at that time, he was on board with the Van Allen team in developing the first generation of space exploration uh, tools with the United States government. NASA had not even been formed yet when this development was underway during the 1950s. But the work was hastened by the uh, launching uh, by the Soviet Union of Sputnik in the fall of 1957. Uh, and that really accelerated the space race. The space race was underway between the two global superpowers of the time. And when that occurred, the activity at the Department of Physics and Astronomy here at Iowa really, uh, really accelerated. There was a new sense of urgency. So in the months that followed, weeks really that followed, the uh, plans to initiate the first generation known as uh, initially just known as Beal, but it later became known as Explorer, became a, a, a benchmark of space exploration for, uh, for the uh, National Aeronautic and Space Administration. Now, George Ludwig kept a journal uh, of his work during his graduate uh, studies at Iowa. He was an Iowa boy. He grew up in rural western Johnson County, just west of Iowa City. And like many of his colleagues in the department, he had a very intense interest in taking part in this first generation of space exploration. It's even been said that George found hearts at a hardware store in Tiffin to help build Explorer 1, the United States' first satellite. And with the launching of Sputnik in October of 1957, the launching of Explorer 1 followed not long after in early 1958. George's journal captures, I think, the, uh, the exuberance and the excitement of that period, not only of the nation as a whole, but this young graduate student who had uh, uh, worked long hours <laughs> and in very difficult circumstances at times. Emotion surfaced that day of the launch and he wrote in all capital letters, success. It was an absolutely magical moment for the US uh, uh, space industry and of course for young George Ludwig. George went on to a long and distinguished career with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. He was a consultant in industry as well as in academia with regard to uh, uh, physics and meteorology particularly. He uh, had a very long, very fruitful career after his graduation from Iowa.